my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be shouting out some small booktubers. Baby, baby. Also, sorry if you hear any banging. I think my dad is chopping wood. <laughs> no clue. Recently, a couple days ago, I hit 5,000 subscribers. <laughs> it's honestly um, bonkers crazy to me because um, I never would have thought when I started this channel that 5,000 people would be subscribed to me and would be interested in watching anything that I make and do. And my booktube anniversary is coming up, I believe, at the beginning of July. And it'll be my fifth year on booktube. So five years, 5K, sounds good to me. <laughs> so I wanted to say that I'm very, very, very grateful to all of you for watching this video, for subscribing to my channel. And I love all of you. And I'm so glad that I've made so many friends. Like there are so many people on the internet now that I call my like close friends because of this channel that I've created, which is insane to me. It is. <laughs> so I thought that a fun way to celebrate would be to shout out some small booktube creators that I follow and adore that are under 5,000 subscribers so they could also maybe hit 5,000 subscribers one day. First I want to mention this mug. Isn't it just so cute? It says, happily ever after equals me and books. So cute and on the back. You saw the, the little book with the heart on here. This is from Hello Lovely Box. If you wanna check out Hello Lovely Box, there's a link down below to their website and their Instagram. They're just super fun, super cool, has amazing bookish items in there, especially romance book related items. So um, yeah, you can use the code AVA15 at checkout to get a discount on your order. Um, this came in a box of theirs. I don't know if they are still selling them. I have to check by the time this video goes up. But I think this mug is just so cute, very durable. I made a um, hot chocolate bomb in this mug and it was so nice. <laughs> so in this mug, I have, I think 32, people that I am subscribed to, booktubers I'm subscribed to, that are under 5,000 subscribers. I'm subscribed to a lot of booktubers. Like this is one of my main hobbies is following and promoting and adoring my friends' YouTube channels. And so I'm subscribed to a lot of booktubers, but th the 32 that are in here are the ones that are under 5K. Um, and I feel like 32 is too many to talk about <laughs> in one video, honestly. And I don't think people would watch all the way through, it'd probably be like an hour long and I don't want, I don't want to bother anybody. So we're going to just draw like around like 15 names out of this mug for now. And then if y'all are interested, I'll do a part two. Also just because I don't like anyone feeling left out. So if I were to pick 15 people at random, I wouldn't want anybody else to think who wasn't picked that I'm favoriting them, if that makes sense because I am not. <laughs> let's let's get into the recommendations. Um, and then I will have a picture up here of their channel as well as their subscriber count. Um, I do know a few of my friends in this mug are very close to 5K. So regardless of their subscriber count, whether they're close to 5K or not, I recommend subscribing to all of these people because they are amazing people. I don't subscribe or follow anybody who is not incredibly kind and wonderful and supportive because that's the kind of energy I love to watch and be friends with, you know? Um, so all these people are amazing. And so I really recommend all of them. So let's give it a go. First one we're gonna have here. Let's see. Oh my goodness, we're starting out with a good one. This is my lovely friend Asparagus over at Asparagus is Reading. Um, I love her. Um, also, not all of these channels are primarily romance readers, but all of them have like feature romance books in their videos. So I know Aspasia isn't primarily a romance reader. I know she does read YA and other genres. I think right now she's reading um, the Narnia series um, for one of her classes, but um, she does read romance books. We did buddy read Love in the Wild by Emma Castle and it was so much fun and I just love her. She is an amazing supporter. Like I feel like she loves to shout loud and proud about her friends and <laughs> I love those kinds of people honestly. Um, I love a good supportive friend and she has been nothing but supportive and kind to me and just an amazing person and I personally love her channel. I really like her vlogs because I get to see a daily life like daily glimpses into her everyday life. So if you like romance and YA books I really recommend checking out Aspasia. Next one 
this one. Oh my goodness, we have Izzy from Happy For Now. I love Izzy so much. I love all these people so much. I'm just gonna keep saying that. <laughs> I feel like Izzy is another person who is super, super, super supportive about the romance community specifically. She has a um, series on her channel called Romance Landia, where she talks about kind of like the happenings and going on in the romance community. And I really appreciate those videos because I'm not very informed because my only form of social media is like Instagram at this point and like TikTok, but I don't, I don't see that as social media, whatever. Um, cause I deleted my Twitter and my other social media accounts due to my mental health. <laughs> and so I'm not really in the happenings and in the nows of things. And so I feel like Izzy really keeps me informed and I really love her recommendation videos and her vlogs. I adore her reading vlogs. I get to see Angus and Peas, those are her two pets, um, all the time. And they're so cute. And she just recently moved. So I loved her moving vlogs too. And I feel like she just has a wide range of books that I can appreciate as someone who is a wide range romance reader. So if you love to read any type of romance, I feel like Izzy just reads like a wide range of things. Number three. Let's see who is it going to be? <gasps> we have Desiree. <gasps> I love Desiree. She is probably one of the nicest people I've ever met and I've never met her in person, but she is one of the nicest, sweetest people I've ever met. Her vlogs, like she uh, used to be like a primarily uh, booktube channel, but she, um, I feel like she changed it to more of what she wanted to do was do books and kind of like lifestyle content. And I love that. I love the mix of lifestyle vlogging with books because I feel like it's a, lo a lot of what we all do. We live our day daily life reading books, you know? And so in her vlogs, she features a lot of what she does in a day and um, a lot of what she watches. I love seeing what she was watching like on TV, movies. She has this very cute like projector screen she has in her room. I love it. She also features a bunch of uh, romance books that are amazing. She's the person who recommended me one of my favorite Indian romance books called Blindfall by Amanda Milo. Oh, I love that one. But Desi is probably one of the sweetest people ever. I adore her. And um, she's also the person who created probably my one of my favorite sweatshirts of all time, <laughs> which is my Indian romance sweatshirt because it is just gorgeous. <laughs> Next is whoop, this one. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? It's going to be, it's another close friend of mine. We have Spirit from um, Spirit's World in Words. Sorry, her channel name is such a tongue twister for me. It has always been, and I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's just a bunch of W's mess with my brain. Spirit is another person who uh, reads romance, but her booktube channel is not primarily romance books, but I feel like it's the majority of what she reads. She does read cozy mysteries. She does read graphic novels, especially like the Marvel Universe ones, which is really cool. I just love Spirit. Well, like we chat almost every single day. I would consider her a close friend of mine. She's just so sweet and so nice. And um, she also has a bookmark Etsy shop where she like does these beautiful bookmarks. Like she uh, digitally creates them and then prints them out and laminates them. And so if I remember, I gotta remember to link her Etsy store down below. I actually have a code down below for her Etsy store if you want a discount on your order, if you are interested in any of her bookmarks. I know she has like a Taylor Swift one. She has a Akamath one, a bunch of Twilight ones. I'm a suck We're both suckers for Twilight. So anyway, I just love Spirit. She is so sweet, so nice. And I feel like we have like a lot of same energy and interests. So please check her out. This one is next. Who are you gonna be? Oh my goodness, we have Read Over Heels with Elle. I love her channel name, it's so cute. Um, so I'm a recent subscriber of Elle's ever since Jess shouted her out a couple months ago, um, but I really like her content and I love uh, how many recommendation videos she makes because I can always love and appreciate a good recommendation video. Um, and I feel like she talks about popular romance books, but also some that I've never heard about before sometimes. And she just posted a book haul that was very big and I loved watching it. And right after I watched her book haul, I was like, okay, I gotta get caught up on all her videos and binge all of them, so I did. Um, I just really like her energy on camera and I think she would be really sweet and nice to meet in person, honestly. Let's see, who are you gonna be? Another close friend, we have Tori from Novel Life. I, I love Tori, okay? <laughs> um, Tori, has been through it with me. She has been one of my main 
supporters. I want to cry. <laughs> Um, she has been one of my main supporters and I feel like friends through this difficult time that I've had recently. Oh my god, why am I tearing up? I just appreciate her so much and I care about her so much and I feel like she cares deeply for people. And um, I am honestly humbled and grateful that I think I'm one of those people. Um, but she's definitely one of those people to me. I know I can always come to her when I am feeling upset and I need support and um, just someone to honestly listen to me. I feel like she's a great listener. Anyway, I haven't even talked about her channel yet. <laughs> um, so Tori is primarily a romance tuber. She only talks about romance, except for I think the occasional historical fiction, because I know she really likes historical fiction. But Tori just brings it with her recommendation videos. She makes so many rec videos and I feel like she talks about a wide range of books. She's primarily a indie romance reader, which I am too, so I love that. And I get so many recommendations from her and we uh, really connect with disability representation in books because she does have a chronic illness as well. And we just relate to so many different things in our lives and I feel like she is a really close friend of mine and I love her so much. And so I just needed to gush about her. <laughs> Here we got another one. Let's see. These are kind of hard to open, even though they're not folded all that tight. Oh my goodness! Speaking of Tori, we have one of her close friends, Sam Reads a Little. I really love Sam. Um, I know her and Tori are really, really, really close. I think they also share the same birthday, which is really cool. Um, and I'm so jealous of them because they've met in person multiple times and I'm just like, I want to meet everybody in person. Um, but anyways, Sam, I really enjoy her channel. I really like her vlogs and like getting a glimpse into her daily life. If you don't know, I love reading vlogs, if you couldn't tell already. And I love seeing people's like daily lives other than books, but like also incorporating books, if that makes sense. Uh, but I could honestly watch all these people just vlog about their life without books in them because they're just amazing people, honestly. She also comes out with a bunch of recommendation videos that are amazing. And I also get a bunch of recommendations from those videos of books that I've never heard about before that I'm very interested in. Um, if you love the accidental baby trope, I think that's one of Sam's favorite tropes. If you're like an outlier or a minority in the fact that you like accidental baby, maybe go check out Sam's amazing channel. We're gonna go with this one. Oh my goodness, we have Paige from Paperbacks and Lattes. Paige is a very small channel that I feel like needs more hype because she has a lot of amazing recommendation videos on her channel. I believe she primarily reads romance. I've only ever really seen romance books on her channel, but she is an amazing supporter of the romance community, especially on Instagram. I like love interacting with her on there. She does have some recommendation videos that I've never like seen before from anybody else. Like they're very specific. So if you want like very specific trip videos, I also recommend Paige to check out. I just recommend her in general. But I just think she's super, super, super sweet. And I feel like she reads a lot of amazing romance books. And I feel like her taste is really great and you can trust her opinions. Next one is this one. Let's see. Oh my goodness, we have, Char Ooh, we have Charles from Books on Stereo. I love Charles. He is so funny. Um, I did a video with him with a few other ladies talking about um, the difference between a booktube and TikTok. Like we were booktubers who also had booktok accounts. Um, and I just love that discussion and I loved chatting with him. He does a lot of author interviews. He's like primarily an audiobook romance listener, which I love because... Um, I'm only really listening to books at this point. <laughs> um, and so I love getting his recommendations. I've gotten a, a few great recommendations from him that I really appreciate. Um, and he's just fun and has great energy. And I love the types of videos that he makes where he like invites booktubers, other booktubers to like talk about a certain topic with him that um, you might not hear about in um, booktube in general. I just think it's super fun and it has and like his videos have a bunch of topics that I feel like are great discussion, especially in the booktube community. Um, so I really recommend checking out Charles and he reads a lot of fun, steamy audiobooks. <laughs> so if you're into that, go check him out because um, I get a lot of my audiobook recs from him for sure. Next, we're gonna do this one. Oh my goodness, we have Heather from Hia Booktubes. H-E-A booktubes, Hia. I think her nickname was Hia growing up. So it looks like H-E-A, but it's Hia booktubes. <laughs> oh my goodness, Heather. 
what can I not say about Heather? She is so funny and so sweet and so supportive of everybody, honestly. And she has so many trope videos, so many trope recommendation videos. If you love recommendation videos, please go check out Heather. She probably has like every single one you could imagine, honestly. She makes so many recommendation videos in a month. It's ridiculous. I could never. <laughs> I also really like her uh, vlogs where she, um, she sometimes like branches out of what she is normally reading. Like she normally reads like alpha possessive hot heroes. I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, correct me Heather if I'm wrong. Um, but uh, sometimes she likes to like widen her range. And I also really love her vlogs where she like brings you through her house and everything. And I love her cleaning vlogs because as a person who likes to clean, I love watching other people clean, I just do. And so I feel like she's just amazing. And if you really love, um, I feel like she reads like a lot of novellas and paranormally uh, fantasy books. And so um, if you really love those, please go check out Heather. Okay, we've done 10, we're gonna do five more. Who are you? Oh my gosh, we have Deja over at Dejasaur. Um, I love Deja. Again, her vlogs are amazing. She reads uh, romance books, more I want to say traditionally published, which there are some traditionally published ones that she loves and I love. I know she loves The Bride Test by Helen Huang, as do I, as do many people. <laughs> and um, she does also read a bunch of YA books too, which uh, I also can appreciate and love. We buddy read, we buddy reread The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. And I think, I think Deja, I think we, forgot to finish it, finish our reread. Um, I think we didn't read Winter. <laughs> um, I don't remember, please correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like we forgot to read Winter and it's been like over a year since our like buddy read, but that buddy read is so fun. Like I feel like the Lunar Chronicles is a great buddy read for people. She does feature Sarah J Mass books in her uh, channel and her Instagram is just so amazing it is so aesthetically pleasing i can look at it all day long honestly and um i feel like she's just so sweet and very articulate in the way that she speaks about books which i really appreciate and so yeah if you love ya and romance i really recommend checking out deja let's pick this one who are you gonna be who are you gonna be oh my goodness we have spencer from intentionally bookish now Spencer is just so sweet. She is one of the kindest people ever too. Um, she is also just so sweet and beautiful. <laughs> um, she just had, not just had, a couple months ago, she had her daughter. I love when she features her on Instagram because she's so stinking cute. She reads romance books and mainly cozy mysteries. So if you love both of those, cause I feel like a lot of people in the romance community also love cozy mysteries. I would really check out uh, Spencer. Um, she has a lot of cozy mystery recommendations on her channel. And every time I watch one, like it gets me in the mood to read one. I've never read a cozy mystery, but if I were to read one, I definitely go check out Spencer's videos and ask her, maybe ask her specifically, you could DM her and be like, which ones do you recommend for a newbie? That are amazing audiobooks. Cause I feel like cozy mysteries could be amazing if they were, um, really good audiobooks to listen to. Anyway, I love Spencer. She's just so sweet and so kind and she has like a great view on romance in my eyes. So yeah. Do, 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 do. Next is, oh, there's two in this. Let's just pick one. Where's this one? And it's just really long. Oh no, it's two. Oops. Who are you gonna be? We have Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings. I, I love Rachel. <laughs> Rachel is amazing, honestly. I love her and her vibe and her energy and her love of romance books is just so contagious, like it is. She reads a lot of historical romances and just, I feel like, no, she has like a wide range of romance uh, loves, I wanna say, like the romance subgenres that she loves. Um, I love her get ready with me videos. She'll like do her makeup while she chats to you about the books that she read in a month. Um, and I think that's so fun. I tried doing that with one of my videos. I did like a makeup book tag one time and it's difficult, not gonna lie. <laughs> so props to Rachel. But I also love her recommendation videos and she's just so positive. I love how positive of a person she is. And I feel like it's great to be friends with someone like that because they could just give you their positive energy. <laughs> um, she's also an amazing singer too, by the way, um, as a, theater geek myself. I love when she talks about like the theater stuff on her channel and her Instagram. So I really just love Rachel's channel a lot. I also forgot to mention she like 
only really reads romance books. I know that she does occasionally read YA too, and she does have some YA favorites, which I do that too. So I feel like we're very similar about that. Okay, next one. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? We have Christy Hanna. I can't believe, like, I don't even know if she has a thousand subscribers yet, which she needs to. She is just so sweet and so kind, and she loves so many amazing romance books. I feel like she has a lot of similar, like, tastes and vibes um, as, like, Shelby from Shelby Taggart Reads. I know that Shelby's not making, like, videos right now, but she's very active on Instagram. Um, but she and Shelby, I feel like, have a lot of the same taste. I don't know, Christy really reminds me of Shelby, and I love Shelby, so I love Christy. I really love right now, she's talking about how, um, her and her fiancé are, like, reading, I think, aloud, like, the Ice Planet Barbarian books to each other. I think Christy's read many books in the series, but she's rereading it while her fiance is reading it for the first time. And I think that is so cute and funny. And if I have a fiance, I'm gonna make them do that with me. <laughs> I also love her recommendation videos. And I feel like she reads a lot of romance books that I've never heard about before. And a lot of authors I've never heard about before. So if you really want to check out like new authors to you and um, kind of like maybe underrated or authors that aren't talked about all that much, I would really check out her channel check her out her channel in general because i feel like it's a crime that her channel is so small honestly because it's so good okay here we go this is number 15 the last one let me know down below if you want to see a part two to this because i do have more recommendations like this cup is ooh, i grabbed two this cup is still full of rex so let's pick one out who are you gonna be you're gonna be ashley reads now i just got introduced to ashley's channel i actually got introduced to her channel by her ordering one of my Etsy orders. I actually was the person who created her YouTube header um, with like the book art on there on my Etsy order. My Etsy is down below if you wanna check it out. But on my Etsy order, you have to like write out all the books that you would like on your header. And a lot of the books on her header, I was like, oh, I feel like I like those books a lot and you have similar tastes to a bunch of my friends. And so um, I'm gonna check your channel out. And so I did it, I mean, we followed her. And like, um, I found out that she's really close to Tamika, who's another friend of mine, who's in this cup. <laughs> so if you love, um, I know she reads a lot of dark romance and um, paranormally romances, I wanna say, like darker side. Um, I know that she likes Sophie Lark. I think I put that on her header. And I think I just, I just love her vibes and her videos right now. <laughs> Um, so I really recommend Ashley if you have not checked her out yet, please do. So there you have it. These are the 15 booktubers that I'm recommending today um, that are under 5,000 subscribers. I follow way more people than are in this mug and in my hand, um, but they're over 5k. <laughs> but today I just really wanted to focus on those who are under 5k. As someone who was under 5k a couple days ago, um, I really appreciate and love um, when people shout me out to help me with those milestones. It means a lot to me. Um, and so hopefully these people can reach those milestones too. And yeah, let me know down below if you wanna see a part two to this so I can talk about all my other lovely friends who are under 5k. I just don't want this video to be overly long. <laughs> so please go check out all the people that I talked about today um, because they're amazing people and I love them a lot. Thank y'all so, so much for 5,000 subscribers. I would not be here without y'all. If you've made it this far in the video, leave me a um, pink heart emoji like this on this cup, pink heart emoji. Um, but anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. Uh, I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.